everyone, my name is Miranda and welcome to a very spooky Top 5 Wednesday. <laughs> it should come as no surprise that since this week is the official week of Halloween, this week's topic is Top 5 Halloween Books. Just remember that I don't really do scared. I don't, I don't like it. I don't... I don't enjoy being scared, so I don't read a lot of horror books. So they might not scare your socks off, but they're still definitely good Halloween books. So first off, I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling, which isn't really inherently a Halloween book, I feel like, but for me, I like reading it during the month of October just because of all the magic and the mystery and everything, and I think it's a really good Halloween book, especially if you've never read Harry Potter. But, I mean, they have the Harry Potter marathon on as part of ABC's 13 Nights of Halloween, so clearly I'm not the only one that associates Harry Potter with Halloween. It's not that it's necessarily scary or anything, it's just that reading it and being like about magic and witches and wizards, which are obviously all Halloween things, it makes sense to read it during Halloween. Harry Potter is just like a good one to read in general. Christmas, summer, Halloween, like it covers all the bases, but especially the magic element for me is what really makes it a good Halloween read. After that, I have Coraline by Neil Gaiman, which is actually more of a children's book, but it is still definitely really, really scary. And it's not going to like knock the pants off you because it's aimed at children. And I read it this year for my children's lit class, but it's still really scary and really entertaining and really, really creepy. I've never seen the movie, but the book itself is so, so creepy and so disturbing and mysterious but like it's also kind of tamer so it's nice for someone like me who doesn't like to be completely scared to read something that's still creepy but that you can kind of think in your head like okay this isn't as scary as it could be. I'm sad I hadn't read it earlier because I really really enjoyed it but at the same time maybe it would have framed me when I was a kid so maybe it's a good thing I just read it now but if you haven't read it definitely check it out now because it's a perfect Halloween read like this is the perfect time of the year to discover the beautifulness and the craziness and the slightly horrificness that is Coraline. That's an endorsement. Number three, I have And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I talked about this book recently in my horror recommendations, which if you want to see that video, I'll leave the link down below in the description. But this is classic, classic Agatha Christie. Like, this is a Halloween book. If you want to read Halloween books, like, this is the go-to on everyone's shelf. And it's not really scary scary horrific like it's not gore or anything which I like I'm definitely more into like scary mystery thrillers and this is what that is because it's about all these people who are stuck on an island for a night in a storm and they start getting picked off one by one until there were none and because there aren't any other people on the island they quickly realize that that means the killer is one of them so it could be like the person next to you who's acting like I don't want to be the next one killed like shut up Jerry you're the killer and we all know it and we need you to admit it okay because I'm getting off this island, okay? I'm not letting you kill me with a chainsaw. No. No, bro. So it's very interesting. It's very twisty. And it has the best plot twist, I feel like. It's such an original one. And it's used a lot now lately. But this is like the original plot twist. And it's so, so good. And you won't see it coming unless you know it. Then, then you will see it coming. So... Congratulations, but the book might be ruined for you. I really like it, and like I said, if you want to read classic, but not really like gory or anything, like if you want to read classic horror, go for a Stephen King one. If you want to read classic horror thriller, go for an Agatha Christie one. That is just my opinion, and I'm going for Agatha Christie because Stephen King will make me throw up and pee from frightenedness. Scaredness. What's the word? Scaredness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number two, I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. And this, again, isn't really a Halloween book, but it's such an awesome thriller and mystery, and it's got such creepy elements to it that you're like, ugh, I don't, I don't think I want to read this right now at 11 o'clock at night when everyone's asleep and the lights are off. Let's just wait till it's nice and bright out because it's definitely got some creepy moments to it and it's a whole series and the series is really creepy too so if you want to read the whole series for Halloween it's definitely good it's a trilogy so it's only three books it's not gonna take you that long like you you could do it and it's definitely so twisty and so creepy it's got like even though it's more of like a thriller mystery thing it's got like delusions and like bleeding eyes and stuff like that and like dolls disappearing like anytime a story has a creepy doll you know you know it's gonna be creepy because dolls are just ugh, dolls have been ruined for me by all the books and movies I've seen so it's definitely not like I said inherently Halloween but it's a great Halloween read because of how creepy and how gross it is at certain points it's always creepy but sometimes it gets where you're like just stop hold the phone I don't, I, that's just too gross. <laughs> so I really like it and it's definitely, it's one of my favorite books. So I think now is the perfect time to read it. 
before all the joy of Christmas starts. You, you definitely want to get it in before that. And then last up, my number one Halloween book is one I actually read this year recently, and I didn't read during Halloween, I read during the summer, but it was still so creepy, and that is Marie Antoinette's Serial Killer by Katie Allender. Katie Allender, I feel like you're, you're good with any of her books if you pick them up for Halloween because they're so, so, so creepy, but Marie Antoinette specifically is a ghost story about a girl who goes to Paris on a field trip, and at the same time this happening a rash of beheadings are going on but there's no suspects because it's like the killer just disappears without a trace almost as if they couldn't leave a trace and it's all about how she gets caught up in it and the part she plays in it and it's so creepy and so twisty and so scary at points and oh my gosh it's got my favorite thing which is when you like get the point of view of the killer like so like you don't know who it is but like you're there and you're just like turn around Deborah she's coming for you I definitely definitely recommend it and I think it's gonna scare the pants off you. So those are my Halloween recommendations for 2015. I don't know why I said that so weird. And if you have any scary recommendations you would like to leave down below, definitely, definitely do that. Also make sure to check out my Halloween reading suggestions. Clever, I know. For some more scary Halloween reads. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below to be told when I make all sorts of new videos. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more of my top five videos, Halloween, whatever. You fancy. Thank you guys all so much for watching and have a happy Halloween. Bye. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Bye.